Hey everyone, my name is Pilisa Ngobo. I am a third year medical student at WITS. I've been requested by Selule Kwabe to do this video for you guys. So I hope you guys learn something from it and I hope you enjoy it. Um, so I'm a Zulu girl from a small town in KZN called Ishowe. Um, but I went to school at Inkamana High School, which is in Freyed. It is a full-time boarding school. It is also a Catholic school. Um, so it's super, super, super small. There are only 30-ish students per class and there's only one class per grade. So that's like a total of about 150 students the entire school. Yeah. So, uh, um, as I said, it was a full, well, it's a full time boarding school. So it means that, um, you stay there, you know, day in, day out and you follow a routine. So you go to study, um, twice a day, um, once on Saturday and three times on a Sunday. And I also mentioned that it's a Catholic school. So you also go to church three times a week, you know? So it's, it's a very good school. I believe it's a very good school um, because it encourages um, balance. So you have to have to sign up for a sport and another like another um, extracurricular activity. So be it choir, be it drama, whatever other club. Yeah. So um, it kind of shaped the way that I am today because I strive in living a balanced life and yeah so in high school I did maths I did um, physics and I also did um, life sciences and I did three languages so I didn't have like another core subject so I did Isi Zulu home language I did English first additional and I did Afrikaans second additional and then LO um, being my seventh official subject we also had other subjects like um religious education and computer literacy um but they weren't like you know part of the curriculum per se yeah so for my aps i got seven a's metric so um at wits that's i think an aps of 42 plus three and a half that's like 47 no, it's... anyway yeah so APS is calculated um, differently in different universities so that's why it's important for you to read the handbook um, so you know what um, that university requires of you and also the minimum requirements I think to get into medicine it fits the minimum requirements are 65 um percent for physics and 65 percent for maths i don't think life sciences is a requirement but it, it it's a definite bonus yeah so my grade 11 marks weren't that amazing to be honest i think i had like 70 for mathematics and like 68 for physics yeah, they they weren't that cute, but um, I made up for it in my MBTs because yeah, with um, your entry um was based on both your grade eleven marks and your MBTs. That's why it's very very important to do well in MBTs. Um, yeah. So on that subject of MBTs, I didn't study for them. I didn't prepare honestly. I just um winged them but what helped me i think what helped me a lot was the fact that my mathematics teacher was um he was very like he he wanted us to understand maths and understand the logic behind math rather than just punching numbers into a calculator so um for many instances like calculators weren't allowed in, in high school so that kind of contributed to 
um, me doing well because in BTs you don't use calculators you have to use logic more than anything yeah I actually had to dig up the APT marks for this just to make sure I'm not telling lies yeah but I did really really well um, yeah that's that's it for NBTs and then um, first year so before we even get to first year um, applying so I applied for medicine at UCT I also applied at WITS and UK then I didn't apply at Staley's yeah that's a story for another day but yeah I applied at, uh, or I also applied at UJ what I can emphasize when you apply um, make sure that your second choice isn't always the same thing because it might happen that when the results come out you don't want to do medicine anymore you don't want to do dentistry anymore um, maybe you want to do engineering now so try and keep your options as open as possible yeah and then um, okay my metric results came out I got accepted at VITS I got accepted at UCT you kids didn't only reply to like in March yeah anyway I've always known I wanted to come to VITS so I was very very happy and then I came to VITS for my first year first year in high school the transition was a lot it was emotionally taxing I used to call home crying a lot because I felt like I wasn't coping the workload is three times um, harder than um, high school it's also like a lot you know because now you have labs you have um, assignments that you need to do you have tests you have this you have that um, yeah so it became a lot but what helped me in first year was the fact that um, there's there's like a lot of resources available as well as extra classes. So if um, you do get to first year, make use of extra classes. If they're available, you use computer labs, use the libraries, whatever resources the university makes available to you, use them because you are most definitely going to need them. So yeah okay um so what keeps me going when things get lit there by academics honestly it is prayer i am i'm very spiritual so i pray a lot like sometimes when i'm studying and i feel like you know this is not going in i'll just take a moment i'll pray and then i'll continue studying um that as well as support from my friends friends are very important in university if you want to survive you know if you want to vent if you want to cry yeah so friends are very important and family family keeps you grounded um my family they always remind me why i need to study why i need to do well because you know yeah i have to make it and also um just being told by my family that they're proud of me is a lot it keeps me going yeah and also um having a balanced life is important like if you yes academics are the center of your life but um i'd encourage you to like have something you do on the side whether you read like have a hobby whatever it is whether you take up running because there comes a time where you just want to breathe like you can't you know focus on school 24 7 you need to breathe you need to like um pull yourself together bring yourself back you know to prevent yourself from getting depressed mm -hmm. and stressed all the time and then um yeah, the hardest module I've ever had to face fits. has to be anatomy, hands down. Anatomy is hard. And at WITS, we actually do it for like 10 months. Yeah. And it's actually supposed to be done for like 18 mm -hmm. months in other institutions. I think they do it for 18 months. And it has three components. So there's gross anatomy, there's histology, there's embryology. So I honestly it was a lot it was a lot but somehow i ended up getting the hang of it yeah yeah i still think it's, it's very difficult 
yeah. And then the easiest, okay, it's not really the easiest, but the, the module I probably enjoyed the most has to be psychology because I enjoy human behavior, like learning about it, you know, learning why people do certain things. So it was very enjoyable. Um, the lecturer was, you know, also fun. So that kind of contributed to me loving the module as well. Yeah. And then um, advice that I'd give to um, a person in matric or a person in first year or anyone that just wants to pursue a career in health sciences, um, do research. Uh, a lot of people um, come to university not knowing what their degree actually entails and then when they get here, they get the shock of their lives because it's not what they signed up for. So it's very, very important for you to do research, you know, get someone that you're gonna shadow, get a mentor if possible. Um, I have a mentor and that has helped me a lot um, in terms of um, having someone guiding me and, you know, reassuring me that, listen, it's gonna work out. Yeah, so do your research. And then um, if you don't make it into medicine the first like, time around, um, VITS has a great program called the GIM program. I'm sure there are plenty of videos on this channel that talk about the GIM program. So do check those out and also do research about the GIM program. And um, just advice to matrix in general, you do not have to go to university in order to make it in life. There are so many other options that you can explore. You can get a learnership. You can um, go to a TVET college. So there's a lot of pressure, especially from African parents, for you to go to university, for you to do certain um, degrees. But um, remember that the career you've chosen is probably going to be your career for life so choose wisely and when you do come to university um these are supposed to be the best days of your life um so have fun but remember why you here why you at university and to not lose yourself in the process i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah um good luck with everything Thank you and bye. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.